powder reusers Irina here and in this video I will show you how to set up an NDIS insurer in your account. This video is for our Australian customers. So let's take a look together. To begin with we will go to the settings menu and select custom lists. In the custom list menu we will select insurers. Here you will see the default insurers that go together with a trial account, but let us add more. We will click on add insurers and in the insurer name we will type in NDIS. And now that's the important part. In the type drop down, let us select NDIS. This will ensure that this insurer <laughs> works well with the NDIS bulk update report. Then it's important to have this uh, show an invoice switch on. It means that this way the NDIS participant number of your client will be included on the invoice automatically. You can add some text on invoice information if you want something to populate on the invoices for every client as well. And uh, let's leave or keep this insurer active. And we will save the changes. That's it. The new NDIS insurer is set up in your account and in the next video I will show you how to uh, add NDIS participant number to client profiles. But don't leave just yet, I want to show you another little trick. Let us consider that you already had an NDIS insurer set up in your account and you used that field to populate your client participant numbers. We would like you to update the NDIS to a new insurer type in order for that field to work well with the new NDIS bulk update report. So let me show you how to do that. We will go to the settings menu, go to session, uh, sorry, um, custom lists, of course, go to insurers. And here you would see your NDIS insurer with the standard type. So what we will do, we'll click on that insurer and just select the NDIS type and save. And that's it. Once you've updated your NDIS insurer in the uh, custom list settings, this update will automatically update all your existing uh, client profiles and the NDIS participant number field will be reset from standard to NDIS and you will be able to continue using this field as before and it will work well with the NDIS bulk update report. That's it for today. Uh, please make sure to watch other videos about how to manage your account with NDIS information. <music>